Hi guys! You're probably here because you scanned a card that you got from someone on a crane or you picked one up to pass along with a note of kindness to someone. First, I wanted to thank you for what you're doing to the community. You're spreading joy with every small act that you're doing. I am so excited to be a part of this movement and to get it off the ground. And I thought that this year we could use the paper cranes to spread notes of kindness, hope, and peace throughout the community this year. So I wanted you to take one of these Write a note on the back of the card, and if you can, send it to a friend. We have different note cards available um, that are attached to the cranes if you pick them up locally. We also have on our website a way to print your own and write as many as you want. If you want then to create more cranes, I wanted to show you quickly how I fold paper cranes and give you a quick tutorial that is gonna make this fun for you to continue carrying on this tradition as we go forward. As you get cranes from people in the community, I would love it if you share where you got them, how far they're traveling in the world. Use hashtag paper crane for the number four kindness, and we will be able to follow along the journey that these cranes take throughout the world. I hope that this is just the very beginning of something beautiful for years to come. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Now let's dive into that tutorial if you need help. If you're making a paper crane, I suggest using a six by six square paper. I love getting the ones that are two-sided instead of um, having this white in between. It doesn't matter what you get though, but just know that if it doesn't have a printing on the side, you might see a seam. Now let's dive into how to fold a paper crane. First, you're gonna fold the paper in half. Lines are very important. It's important to keep the lines very crisp. Then we're gonna fold it in half again. Then we're gonna turn it diagonal. We're gonna fold it again in half. I'm gonna open it up, fold it again in half. Okay, then we're gonna open it all up and we're gonna make it a, a triangle again. Now you're gonna see that we have little triangles inside of triangles and we're gonna fold that over and fold on our line here to try to make a diamond. Again, fold on the line here. These are like little pre-folds that we've made to help make the creases fall a little better. And then we just fold the top down onto it. Awesome, so now you're left with this little guy. So we're gonna take up the one side here, fold it up to the line in the center, like a small kite, and then do that same thing on the other side. Right up to the line if you can get it. There, keep things at a point. Next, you're gonna take this little tab here, it folds on this side, and we're gonna fold it down over that just to score it. Then we're gonna open things up, and we're gonna go like this. So we're gonna take that top page only, whoop, like this. It's gonna make a little mouth here, and we're gonna turn it sideways and fold down along that crease. Now, if you've made really strong crease lines, it's gonna make it easier to fold this and keep that triangle shape. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna take that and we're gonna fold that back down and flip it over. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So our little tab, you see where that fold is, is gonna be up on the top and we're gonna fold these two sides in to meet it. Like that. And then we're gonna fold it again like this, okay. Next, we're gonna take this top and fold it down over that, just so we have that score line again to go to. It's very repetitive, each of these moves. We're gonna open it up to do our little mouth again. Fold down on that top ridge. Ooh, see what I did there? It's a little bit off. I'm just gonna pull it back. These things are very malleable. It's okay if you mess up. Thought is what matters. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna pull this one in here. Excellent, okay, awesome. So this is getting really exciting. So now we have a little walking guy. This is important to find the walking little legs here. You're gonna take those walking legs and you're gonna fold it back like that. This is gonna make the tail of this guy and this is gonna make the head. What's happening here is we're creating a little valley. So we're gonna open now, that's just scoring it. We're gonna open this back part and push it up into the little tail, if we can. There we go. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here and this is gonna become the mouth. So we're gonna push it up into there. Try to get it into that score line you did if you can. Sometimes the paper is a little testy. Okay, got it. And then we're gonna make this little mouth just by folding in half. And there's our little crane. He should be able to fly. We did it. So I've made a thousand of these. It's still not perfect. It takes a lot of time to be able to get it perfect. And what matters most is that you're sending kindness and love. Give yourself grace, keep practicing, and send on those notes of kindness as you can. Attach one here and one, one on the back for people to send on to the next person. I can't wait to see what you do.